the fuck? <laughs> the camera ain't like he was playing. <laughs> Can we talk for a minute? What y'all got going on, Earth Signs? Because either you want to talk to somebody and somebody else want to talk to somebody. Because last time y'all had somebody. Oh, y'all remember that reading that I had said that um for the fire signs? No, it was Aries. Remember I said Aries? I said somebody want to, uh, the Joker had came out. They had wanted to, uh, they said, because I can't buy the car if I can't test drive, whoever that was. And I said it was a relationship, whoever this was. I said, make sure that your intentions was right. I said, or yours or somebody else. Because I said, whoever that was that was coming in. I said, it's kind of like somebody saying, yeah, I'll be in a relationship with you. And that was, it was like, if you were saving yourself for celibacy. And I said, somebody else was like, shit, I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to hit that. Never mind. That was just a flashback, nostalgia. Go watch it. That was funny as hell. All right. Because I can't buy that car. If I can't test drive. Well, all right. Okay. Never mind. This for the fire signs. This for the fire signs. Hold up. Ooh. Uh, let's go over. Let's do throw shocker. I think we'll do throw shocker for y'all. I think we do throw chakra. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Come on. I think we're going to do throw chakra. Okay. All right. Let's wind it back just a little bit. We wind. Dang. Hold on, y'all. It's not me. It's the TV. Try to get my sounds in just in case I might want to nod out afterwards. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to pull a card for y'all and see what's going on. But I tell you the overall mood is can we talk? So it could be communication, though. Some of y'all could be working on your throat chakra because I did cut on throat chakra sounds. So this could be communicating with you or someone else. I don't know because you got hair to change and a crown. Uh, what is the hair to change and uh, mind games? So I don't know who this is. You could be dealing with somebody that like to play a whole lot of mind games and stuff like that. When it comes down to words, you be having to be like, oh, uh, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who got the gift of gab. Mm -hmm. Or you could be talking about something or you want to communicate something, however how you feel or something that's, uh, you know, I don't know. So let's go. All right, let's go. We're going to pull y'all four cards. One for the overall mood and then we're going to do one for each sign. So let's go. All right, I think that's it. Say, see, stop shuffling them. I be shuffling the cards but sometimes when I put them back in there, and then I be forgetting that I don't need to shuffle them. So that's that. Ooh, you got a revelation, movement towards adventure, and the courage to step into life. Didn't I say somebody had some shit they need to say? Aries, you got, I did say that though. Choices and their consequences. A feast of plenty. Come on. Who be messing with the earth sign? They hate this shit too. Watch this. I'm talking about any fire sign. Aries, y'all got choices of the consequences. Who come next? Leo, you got joyful muse, inspiration, and then who is this? Sagittarius, you got curiosity, the overall mood, movement towards adventure. <laughs> That's crazy. And on the bottom of the deck, we got ego sublimination. Y'all keep getting this. Y'all keep getting this shit. Y'all, I'm telling you, like, every fire sign that I done done, y'all keep getting the ego of sublimination. It either come up in the Scorpio reading or it comes up in the fire sign reading, where you hear me say that's a whole lot of shadow work for some of y'all that's coming up. Right? Right. So, let's see. Some of y'all got a whole lot of shadow work to do for real. I'm telling you, like, for real. I'm hearing mortal enemies. Ooh. Or somebody else might got a little beef or something going on. I don't know. Hope not. Hopefully that's out the way, though. Mm -mm. Take that energy and put it into something that's going to drive you to, its, uh, to explore a better you or to create something better or a new you, though. I tell you that, though, for real. Somebody's like, it's a masterpiece. I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know. Right, somebody's a little chaotic. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm saying, like, whoever this is, somebody's just a little chaotic. They, it's just a lot of it. All right, we're not going to say that, though. All right, let's see what's going on. We're going to pull some cards for each one, and then we're going to get into the reading. All right. How it goes? Which one want goes for you? Ooh, all right. I said that, though. Girl, don't do that. Y'all cards. Come on now. Stop acting stingy with this shit. Y'all sitting up here acting stingy with the goddamn cards. Y'all want a one by one piece of me shit. Then I say some of y'all was just saying y'all want to talk to me and now y'all don't want to communicate. Don't want piece by piece. Piece. <coughs> piece me these cards. For real. Trying to piece by piece me some goddamn cards and shit. I said what I said. Now I said I wanted to talk, but now. All right, let me get one more. I said I got something to say, but it ain't this serious. It ain't this serious. Withholding emotions and shit. <clears throat> All right. We got uh, Aries, first card out. Y'all got feasts of plenty, choices, and their consequences. For some of y'all, this could be a relationship or other people. It could be a group or other things that's involved. That came up for y'all in that last reading. Though. That's why I said whoever this is is trying to purchase, to buy, to get, whatever it is that has something to do with relationship. Because you see that number two. I don't know if this is inside or external or whatever it is. But it could be something that leaves you emotionally confused. But I do kind of feel like there is some light that's shed it on a particular situation, though. I did tell y'all in whatever reading that it was. I think that came up in the earth side where I said some of y'all may need some selenite, selenite black tourmaline, uh, and an amethyst, whatever it was, especially if it was any hyper crown activity that was going on. All right. Now, the first card out, y'all got seven of swords, you got the ten of wands, and you also got the eight of cups. That could be a truth. Now, the flip side here, it takes two to tango. Some of y'all got some type of relationship problems. This could be some of y'all asking somebody for help, or somebody could be coming to you for help, but this is a breakup or a fallout, though. And I do kind of feel like when it comes to certain situations, though, like some of y'all could be having arguments about what's the load, who's going to do what, what is what. I do feel like it's there. Some of y'all could just be spazzing out on somebody because some of y'all may need help and y'all really ain't extra for it. So this is that disengaging in certain things and emotions being withheld. Uh, we also got the John Horseman in reverse and we also got the Three of Pentacles. We also got the Dr. Buzzer in reverse. You got the Five of Pentacles upright, the Garden, and the Ten of Swords. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh. Some of y'all could be arguing with a man or somebody dead. I don't know. Um, let's get back on subject. Mm -mm, let's get back on subject. Some of y'all trying to see something differently, though. And I did say it's a lot of crown shock activity going on between some of y'all, though. So it would be specific at this time if you are Aries to cover up your head. Some of y'all probably need to do some type of cleansing or something as well. Maybe time to take them braids out, wash your scalp, give it like a little peppermint, some eucalyptus, whatever it is you need to do to soak your hair, soak your head, clear your head, go to a better space. Some of y'all just need something to do to clear your head, clear your head from something, like to see something from a better perspective, though. I do kind of feel like if there is an argument or a disengagement from a relationship, Relationship. Somebody could be very spiteful and they don't like to look at the bigger picture because you do got the emperor as well. So there could be somebody that's emotionally closed off and they don't know how to look at the bigger picture. So they like to take things accordingly to their hand as well, though. So I do kind of feel like they like to handle things accordingly to their ways. And then that kind of causes a problem because of Ten of Swords being in reverse. This somebody that, keep in mind, this deck, everything that's upright is the meaning for reverse. All right. So, um, this could be somebody that don't want to let something go as well, though. Like, they don't. This is somebody that's inability to be able to self accept something. This is a kill joy. Like, this is a situation that is dead and gone, but somebody does not want to receive that is letting go. I do kind of feel like if there's any legalities or something going on as well, though, I do kind of feel like, though, if this is the ends justify the means, this is where one of y'all trying to recuperate any financial losses. Um... Any financial losses or something as well, though. Some of y'all, this looks like a case where some of y'all, oh, 
some of y'all got a case going on that y'all not giving up and y'all trying to go back and take it to court again. So I don't know whoever this is. Somebody trying to take something to court again on a specific matter. For some of y'all, if it's like anything with financial planning, investments, or whatever it is, some of y'all, y'all so busy trying to tackle this issue alone that you may have to have somebody in. But I don't think one of y'all want to handle something in because this is a severing of something. This is a breaking of ties. I don't know if it had anything to do with partnerships or businesses or any type of legalities or something that's going on. But somebody trying to get out of something. But I do kind of feel like um, it may have something to do with mass media, social media, whatever it is that's going on. It could be a deal or something to make it. But some of y'all trying to get out of it. I don't know if you want to work with this person or work with them or something as well. But it's like a clashing of the two. But at the same time, though, one of y'all trying to take issues upon on your own. Because I do kind of feel like if you were operating with some type of lawyer or some person who's into legalities or however they do certain things, they don't do things right. So that's all I'm hearing. Like they got they they a little shady. Um they a little shady. Uh for real. Somebody does something just a little bit shady. Some of y'all could be arguing with somebody too though as well though, because they don't know how to mind they bees. And so I do kind of feel like that's that controlling shit. So if you're dealing with somebody who feeling like they take control of certain shit, there could be some crossing boundaries or something though. So I do kind of feel like this is an argument that could rear its head again because uh it's more of uh it could be coming off like messy or instigating. That's what it's kind of given though. Uh, or instigated some type of argument or a breakup between two people like it probably did because we got the knight of swords the nine of pentacles the queen of wands and we also got the court and for some of y'all this could be a divorce that's going on between two people because it's knight of swords um this could be a divorce, though. Some of y'all want to... This could be a breakup. Some of y'all may not be dealing with a specific person at the time, though. I do kind of feel like this. Somebody taking somebody to court over something. I did say that, though. Whether this is a separation or exhaustion of a contract or whatever it is, some of y'all don't want to deal with it, though, because I don't know if some of y'all signed a contract or trying to do a partnership or whatever it is with some particular person. It could have been trying to take away some control or rights or, I don't know, it could be with a kid or something involved, but I don't see a kid on here, though, but it's had something to do in a relationship with could be a restraining order. I don't know, but some of y'all ready to do some shit y'all way or somebody ready to do something they way and they really don't care. Like whoever this is, they in a place where they going after what it is that they want and they not really studying nobody though. Whoever this is, they putting like, if it, because keep in mind, night of swords can be somebody that like it's hard to talk to because they be so quick to just file off at the mouth or um they very reactive so they don't think, they didn't thought about it too long right and so whoever this is they putting this behind them and they going about handling things their own way so i did say that though this got something to do with some type of case or whatever it is that one of y'all pursuing this is something that somebody do not want to let go like they do not want to let it go they do not um somebody some of y'all got an ex or whoever this is that if we got something to do with some relationship before we get up out of here, this is a whole lot of blame game that's going on. Like somebody blaming somebody for the reason that they broke up, the problems, the drama and situation. Like you keep having the same situation going on between you and someone else where it keeps coming up to the forefront. Uh, because uh, some of y'all want peace in the situation, but it's about doing the same things over and over and over again. Like you keep having this problem. Some of y'all may have been having this problem going on ever since you was a child. So it could be... Uh, um, arguments, miscommunication, feeling unhappy, uh, not uh, lack of acceptance, all these particular things. So it's this ongoing issue with this person or a situation. For some of y'all, there's coming to some type of medium with a person or something as well. Some of y'all trying to get to the point of, but I think one of y'all is expecting... Um, some of y'all um, may be expecting a person to not be nice or not react a certain way. Ooh, I don't like this. Somebody having an argument, they having a fallout or something over their mama. If somebody is a mama, the child, whoever this is, there's a problem that's going on between the two. With the big queen and the king of wands, that's really not so nice. This is a very conflicting energy, though, because some of y'all could be more your masculine energy, but you really think you're acting in your feminine energy, but you're really not. So some of y'all really think y'all compassionate, but you're not, but you're really around here just doing, doing, doing. Or this could be a relationship. This could be somebody, mama, who you could be arguing with. I said mama or daddy, because you got two people here. Um, so it's somebody, mama or daddy, where you keep having this argument or conflicting uh, miscommunications with them because it's somehow it's a child involved. 
Uh, could be something that's going on with a blended family as well, though. This is about somebody cheating on somebody, leaving somebody, whatever it is. But whoever this person is, somebody keep trying to compromise with them or be open to them or trying to find some type of resolve. I do kind of feel like some of y'all in the space, if you're looking for like that mothering figure or a person to give you some type of um, emotional relief or advice, they could be gone. This could be somebody that has passed on in your life. They came up a long time ago. Um, they could be gone or they could be passed on. And some of y'all looking for a state of compassion or a state of understanding or self-acceptance. And I really feel like at this moment, you may or may not be getting that. If those of y'all feel like that, uh, you operate from your masculine and feminine energy, I do kind of feel like some of y'all are operating more of... Um, Mm -hmm. Like y'all not operate from neither space because some of y'all keep arguing about somebody is losing a child. Like it's something about a child. It's something about a child. That's why I say it's something about a child. Little kids gonna come out. It's something about losing a child or something with a child. That's all I know. It's something about losing a child or something with a child. That's all I know. Ugh, we got Ace of Pentacles and then we also got the King of Swords. They go that money again. Look at that money in this situation. Mm -hmm. Some coming up with some money about somebody missed some money and some as well, though. Mm -hmm. Somebody was waiting on some or some type of investment or whatever. It was some shady going on. It was some shady shit. Shady, shady. Or cruelty or mind games, whoever this was, though. Somebody ain't telling somebody something. They like to keep a whole lot of shit. We got Ten of Cups again. We got Ten of Swords again, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and then we also got the Ten of Bands. But I said that, though. This could be that, though. Some of y'all detach it from y'all family or a toxic family. Y'all keep trying to sit up here and work shit out, but it ain't working out, though, between you and someone else, whoever this is, where you keep bumping heads with this person, though. Because <clears throat> keep in mind, if it's a relationship, it could be some of y'all just arguing with a father figure or a mother figure, whoever this is, but it's about certain shit that they do, and they don't see your perspective on a lot of things. They don't. So there is a common clean. Some of y'all feel like this person don't like you. They probably don't. I ain't saying it to be mean. They probably don't. Um, it is, though. Like, some of y'all, like, you know it and you don't. You really don't care. Some of y'all really don't care. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. Oh, hold up. We finna get a pop for y'all, though. But somebody don't. Some of y'all going to find out the real reason why somebody left you alone. Because it's something about something to do with some type of abuse. Or being abused. Coming clean. Coming forward with that dough as well. It's a lot. Because mm. some of y'all could be a little bit more manic in your approach when you're trying to explain something say something in a different way like i don't fuck with them because of this and da, 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 da. then you going off about it but it's like people ain't receiving it though especially when it come down to the three of pentacles they not receiving your message they not understanding what it is that you're trying to communicate as well like they not somebody coming in to give you some state of an apology though i really do feel like it's dead though and i tell you somebody that's instigating that whatever mess or drama that's going on though somebody coming in to give you some state of an apology and i don't think some of y'all may be accepted though because i tell you at this point you just like i don't care i feel like this is an argument or a situation that went on just a little bit too long all right now leo y'all got joyful music and inspiration looks like some of y'all trying to have a good time or a fun time right now let's see you got the king of cups being reversed the funeral home and you also got the eight of swords and then you also got the four of cups Ooh, jesus who is this that don't like the decisions that it is that they have made in their life some of y'all don't want to let something go this is obsessive i do kind of feel like there is a particular person or something that you allowed to come into your life where you're trying to clear it out and decide where it is that you choose to want to go some of y'all want to have y'all cake and eat it too some of y'all at this point y'all could be around here wanting somebody dead or wishing ill will on somebody as well though no, like that's kind of sad um for real some of y'all regret fooling with somebody dealing with somebody all that other stuff though some of y'all thought y'all was gonna be able to get y'all way to somebody that's obsessing over something though for real though because you thought you was gonna be able to get your way have your way and then boom here comes somebody else and now you kind of like i guess so now you're trying to figure out what decision is best for you but you also get another shot now we also got the magician the big house in reverse we also got the seven of wands we got the queen of pentacles and then we also got the six of pentacles with the knight of wands i did say there's some jealousy that's going on though for real 
Some of y'all could be gambling a whole lot or whatever. Whoever this is, they gambling, they playing a whole lot of game. Now, some of y'all could just be doing money, magic, money, ritual spells and stuff like that when it comes down to greed. And some of y'all crossing over to the other side when it comes to dealing with other entities or beings or dealers or whatever it is that you got going on. Whoever this is, there's this particular person that is quick to do something. Y'all got to work on y'all ego as well. This person, I do kind of feel like that. Uh, some of y'all could be looking at somebody saying that they're very money hungry. Uh, some of y'all have an argument with somebody because somebody telling you that you do one for the other and not for somebody else. And there's a particular problem. So whoever this person is, uh, some of y'all mad as hell. Because I'm telling you, whoever this is that's confronting you or coming to us, they say you do it to them, but you don't do it to me. So there's some type of situation that's going on, though. Whoever this is, they're very conflicted. There could be a wishy-washy and somebody feels like they oppressed this is not a very nice aspect though whoever this person is they're not grounded i tell you there's some type of magic as well that somebody's casting on a particular person or a situation i really do feel like it's that whoever this is this somebody that could be casting on somebody real hard to the point where somebody think that they're going crazy or whatever they may be having some type of mental illness outbreak or whatever it is that's going on though for real um for real like somebody really think they got like a whole state of something even tethered to mental illness what they really don't that's somebody that's casting on somebody for real though and they trying to avoid that karma coming back on them for real uh whoever this person is because I told y'all that in 2020, if you were spellcaster or a practitioner, you got to start checking your clients. Because I said a lot of clients been lying, like for real. And they getting a lot of practitioners, people who do magic, caught up in the shit. Flip side here, this is somebody that's talking about money or situations, whatever it is that's going on. I do kind of feel like when it comes down to money or achieving, like receiving or uh, exchanging some type of money or something, dealing with some type of currency, I don't know what it is when I rub my hands like this, whatever it is between you and someone else the problem is uh somebody has no morals they don't like they do whatever they don't care when it comes to the money so there's a whole lot like somebody doesn't care uh, shit my ear burn they don't like whoever this is they don't care when it come down to money they quick to jump in any goddamn thing. They don't care whoever this person is. They don't care. This could just be somebody that's just asking for something. They doing whatever the fuck they want because they want this shit. Like, for real. So, I don't know. For real. I'm telling you, whoever this is, some of y'all argue with somebody about some money in the situation. Some of y'all doing money rituals and that shit going to rack. For real. Maybe y'all got too much going on in this reading. It's a whole bunch of jealous. This could just be a relationship, though. Some of y'all could be in a relationship, some type of third party dynamic, though, with some sexual connection, though, whatever is going on. There's a whole heap of jealousy coming around. And whoever this person is, though, if you feel out with them or not, somebody could be casting against somebody or whatever's going on. But I do feel like when it comes down to time, energy, and this change, y'all dealing with somebody that's saying shit. If you won't give me time, bitch, I'm going to make time. And they could be doing shit to make somebody jealous. Mm-hmm. Because we got the uh, star card, we got the three of swords, and we also got the Miss Island. I tell you, that's true. For real, that's true. Uh, some of y'all don't want to get into somebody's drama. I really do feel like it's that, though, because whoever this is, whatever they got going on, some of y'all like, I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't know who this is. Some of y'all don't want to deal with somebody's drama they got going on in their life. Could be something with some... Uh, I don't know. It's something with some money. It's just, it just ain't right. However they do want to get the money, the money, however they going about getting the money is in an immoral way. That's all I'm going to say. It's in a very immoral way. And one of y'all at this point where you over it, I do kind of feel like whoever this person is, if it come down to heartbreak or a state of betrayal, some of y'all in a place where y'all are over it. That's why I said some of y'all could be in a happy state or a place at this moment. And some of y'all like y'all probably don't want to deal with it. Some of y'all may have laid all y'all problems on the river though, for real, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> some of y'all laid y'all problems on the river. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Y'all know how the women used to be in Mexico. They put it on the water. <laughs> oh, it could just be a cleansing. I hope. <laughs> yes, a cleansing, my bad. Whoever that I said, whoever this is, y'all laid y'all problems down on the water for real. Like, for real. Some of y'all laid y'all problems on the water. And y'all could have just, uh, this could be refaith, renewal, like refreshing, whatever it is. It could be a cleansing, though. I really do feel like it's that, though. Some of y'all seeing things from a higher perspective. I do kind of feel like there's an emotional acceptance that comes around. Or I do kind of feel like some of y'all in a point where y'all ready to accept some type of joy or go after what it is that you want. 
I do kind of feel like there is heavy reflection upon a relationship with someone else. So even if it comes down to some type of love offer, I do feel like that after one of y'all get this cleansing or whoever this is that goes through the spiritual cleansing aspects, though, they will feel like they are better them. So this could be a more youthful aspect, uh, something that goes on with the libido, because we got ten of swords, we got two of cups, the six of bass, because we also got ten of wands. There's a more youthful aspect that comes about it. We got the ten of swords and two of cups, and six of cups some of y'all this is uh there is a reconnecting revisiting with a child or a person or something in a relationship though some of y'all trying to plan for that or talk about connecting though but i do kind of feel like whoever this person it is that you're trying to connect with some of y'all don't want to like i'm gonna connect but i don't want to lose this again yeah it's like i want to connect but i don't want to lose this again whoever this is though right I don't know who that person is. I'm not going to tell y'all the signs. You figure it out. Okay, hold up. Some of y'all got married. Who is that? Some of y'all got married. Um, We got Dr. Buzzard in reverse, and we also got the Page of Wands. Who is this? Some of y'all got married, and I do feel like that, though. Some of y'all got married, and there's some type of divorce or whatever this is going on. And some of y'all feel like this personal situation done you wrong. Uh, ooh, you'll notice, though, because if you marry the wrong person, you'll start to recognize all them problems that creep up, up in your life. Well, this could be relationship or religious aspects. I don't know what y'all got going on. Some of y'all may be recognized, because like I said, some of y'all went to the water, and I believe some of y'all got a cleansing. On the flip side, some of y'all put them problems on the water, where you hear me say, well, y'all like, you know, you know, <laughs> oh, you know, like some of y'all did, like y'all... Stepped on out of that water. All right. Trying to get rid of somebody out your life. Uh, for real. So I'm mean, trying to get somebody out your life. Mm-hmm. There's root work for somebody trying to get their ass away. And that's hot footing. Some of y'all hot footing somebody out your life. Well, so y'all letting the bygones be bygones. Because if you got the cleanser, this is you walking forward and saying, fuck that shit. And I don't care no more. Whatever it is, what it is. I'm leaving all that shit behind and I'm moving forward. Right, somebody got a second chance in life and they going after everything that genuinely makes them happy. Flip side there though, some of y'all just trying to get somebody about your life. All right. It was Leo. All right, Sagittarius. Ooh, y'all got a uh, stranger and curiosity. Y'all got Dr. Grant, Father of King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and we also got the Ten of Pentacles. Who is this, though? It's a whole lot of secrets and stuff going down. Though Y'all got somebody that's jotting down, taking notes. Some of y'all could just be journaling as well. Some of y'all receiving advice or wisdom, or this could be therapy. And I do kind of feel like some of y'all could be at this point where you're doing some type of financial planning or trying to look over look over things or overview. Overview. Review. Some of y'all trying to review y'all finances or certain situations, even if it got something to do with debt or a particular situation. I do kind of feel like curiosity killed a cat because whoever this is, or I don't know if some of y'all doing like ancestral work when it comes down to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be missing this over there keeping secrets. All right. Now we do got the ancestor in reverse, and we also got the Seven of Cups, and we also got the Big Mama here. Yep, I said that though. Look, I said somebody being missing. Somebody being missing when it comes down to them secrets. Whoever this is. Somebody be a mess. Now, with the ancestor being a reversal, we also got the seven of cups and the big mama and them uh and them bones. Who is this that's seeking advice and trying to find out something? Right? Some of y'all are trying to find out some state of information, but y'all don't even think y'all ready to receive it as well, though, because it's going to blow your shit back. And whoever this is is in a family dynamic, uh, whoever that is, they be writing down, jotting down. Like, they be whoever this is, like when uh, somebody, uh, a bone collector, whoever this person is, they a bone collector, especially with their seven of cups. They be likely gaslighting and manipulate as well. You got a page. You got a page of Pentacles in the railroad bill. Some of y'all do need to check out finances though, because that page of Pentacles is spending just a little bit frivolously though. Just being able to get away with certain shit, then being able to go in your own direction though, for real. Some of y'all may be dealing with somebody who's clever like a fox when it comes to money. Um. So you got to figure it out. I do kind of feel like some of y'all trying to figure out an offer to give somebody. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all trying to figure out an offer to give somebody. Girl, why my teeth itch when I get to y'all? Ooh, somebody pregnant? Were you on your period? Uh, 
what? <laughs> um, 29. Okay, we're doing good time. Somebody trying to figure out an offer to give to someone or somebody's promising somebody something. I don't know. Like somebody trying to give an offer to somebody or promise them something. But I don't think they're going to give it though. Mm -hmm. It may cost too much or it may not cost too much. Somebody contemplating no, on is it worth it? Do I want to spend this money? My bad. Let me put that up there on my shoulder. Somebody like, do I want to spend this money? Does it really cost this much? Right? Um, then too. Some of y'all got to do a lot of that. I said some of y'all could be doing ancestral work or root chakra work because whoever this is, though, when it comes down to gifts and receiving gifts as well, though, some of y'all trying to connect with an ancestor or a god or a deity, whoever this is, but I kind of feel like it's more of an ancestor. Some of y'all viewed them in a different way, and it's kind of certain messages that you want to hear about them. Whoever this is, some of y'all may have thought, you know, certain people, they be looking at, oh, well, Big Mama always had this, and they had this, and they always made a way. They really didn't have a lot of way. Because with that page of pentacles, somebody could have been struggling for finances, and they could have just used other assets to get on by. So some of y'all could be trying to figure it out, like check your heritage and going back forwards when it comes to your finances as well, though. But whoever this is, though, um, grandmama could have been an opportunist. Mama could have been an opportunist, whoever this was. Um, unhappy, though, especially. They could have been unhappy, even if you find it out, like certain things. If it's like will and testament, when it comes down to like lifelong uh, legacy and stuff like that, one of y'all could just be finding out somebody ha unhappy. Or this could be you unhappy as well. Though. I don't know who this is. Somebody's fucking unhappy. I'll tell you that, though, with their career life aspects, though. You could just be sitting here thinking somebody just this 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 and all this other bullshit and they just like no i hate this shit and, da, 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 da. and i don't like this motherfucking shit and i've been doing this shit for motherfucking years and you just sitting there like wow like uh, i'm telling you one of y'all gonna get blown back because it's gonna throw it's gonna knock your world upside down but then one of y'all too when it comes to uh offering mm -hmm, somebody trying to get somebody something but y'all contemplating on the way uh do you really want to purchase or is it really, is it really worth that much? Bam. Now, this is the card that got too much. Now, this say movement towards the river. This one of y'all, though. Movement towards adventure, though. That's what some of y'all going to have to learn how to change. That requires you to go below the surface. That's going to try it. That's going to have you at a point that, yeah, you may be going through your emotions, but you're going to have to learn how to see the light in them motherfuckers because some of y'all going on a ride. Spirit of the river, though. This could be a water guy. To, this could be a water guy that's, that I said, though, that some of y'all could be connecting with. Uh, to help you to be able to push forward to illuminate some state of truth because one of y'all could be stuck in your emotions because you got the John Freeman, the two of swords, and then you also got the five of, uh, five of wands in reverse, and you also got the ace of wands. And baby, that's drama. You ain't gonna get nowhere if you always stuck in your feelings and you got a whole bunch of fire right there. You go, if it's truth come in, some of y'all trying to find out whatever drama that's going on between you and someone else or whatever it is that's conflicting that's going on, whether it went on a trip or being able to move forward. Like there's a whole lot of conflict that's going on. Some of y'all trying to work on conflict resolution or trying to see the bigger picture. But I'm telling you, if you're in your emotions, that ain't really gonna work you up to a place. You either gonna burn out, you either gonna burn and crash out, or you're gonna move forward off that though. And that's a whole lot of fire how some of y'all move. Now we we also got the page of swords with the six of swords and we also got the knight of pentacles some of y'all could be getting um relocating or travel or something's coming back up to the forefront just a new creative idea whatever it is that's coming around this is for all y'all now um something could be coming back around though somebody trying to clarify figure out something as well but if some of y'all going for something on a job I wouldn't tell nobody this specific time, whatever it is that you're trying to call in or work forward towards, because you got too much drama around, you know, there's a lot of people that compete for something or vying for something as well, though, and somebody around, like, they got somebody good intentions, but they really don't, and they slowly been doing this, though. Some of y'all, I'm telling you, like, whoever this is, y'all gonna find out whoever the intentions is. Some of y'all trying to figure out to clarify, to see, because some of y'all are lost. Uh, for real, I do kind of feel like if you working with other people at this time, I would just try to weed out the distractions a little bit much because it's too much confusing. Like it is, you got somebody that think they know everything 
or if this you, if you feel like you know everything when it comes to just you and your emotional aspects and you get to going, baby, you're going to end up going back because, baby, you ain't going no direction. So that's why I said, that's one of y'all. Y'all in that old mind frame, you letting hate, envy, hate, envy, jealousy, fuel up your motherfucking jet to get you where you got to go. And now you're trying to go somewhere else and like, and the motherfucker won't start up. Now you got to go back and get some of that most shit or you're going to unpack that motherfucker. Now, you got Queen of Swords, you got Eight of Wands, and you also got Four of Pentacles, and then you also got the goddamn moon. There is heavy reveal that's coming in, especially when it comes down to communication. Some of y'all could be going to therapy. I did say if you're working with some type of water goddess, when it comes down to your emotions or whoever this person is, or somebody that's very in tune with their emotions, somebody's going to reveal a whole bunch of stuff to you as well, though. Some of y'all going to learn how to learn. How, some of y'all are going to learn how to be able to control your own mind. Um, especially as well, this could be somebody that could be coming to come teach you that though as well. When it comes down to uh, mind control, not mind control, like you know, uh, for its magic or uh, other things, this is like mind control in the state of to where like your thoughts, things that come at you, things that try to throw you off. Some of y'all gonna do that though as well, because some of y'all just be a little paranoid and y'all let y'all thoughts or situations get the best of you because you got the page of swords. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody uh, who like to go tell somebody something, tell somebody else something, it causes a whole lot of problems and then it causes a whole lot of friction. And meanwhile, you ain't got the whole truth. Some of y'all gotta do a, a heart chakra work, crown chakra work, throat chakra work, and root chakra work. Say it again, my shay. Heart, <laughs> throat, crown, and root. Damn, I had to figure that out. I was like, what? So that's it, though. And then, too, though, like I said, financial planning. Like, y'all, finances are really coming up, though. So some of y'all really got to check your finances, for real. You got to work on them junk. Some of y'all got to work on them. Some of y'all could just be at the point. I'm not saying that one of y'all broke, because they're really the same broke. Some of y'all just cut back on a lot of shit. I do kind of feel like at this time, if you cut back on a lot of things in your life, and you tell a lot of people, no, they may not like this shit, or if you the one that's asking somebody for something, could be borrowed or lender, some of y'all gonna be mad when that person say no. Um, just a lot. Let me get one call, and then I'm gonna get on up out of here, because how the hell y'all read and get this long? It's too many. Come on, can we get one card for the situation? They gave me a whole lot. One card. Garden. You got the garden again. Mind your business, baby. Mind your business. The fruit you bear. You ain't paying attention to what you're growing. Shit, you can't get mad. You ain't tending to your own garden. You keep so worried about everybody else and what they got and what they getting going on that you don't even know you got weeds over there. Some of y'all don't even know y'all got some shit that uh, y'all could sell. Y'all need to get rid of. Or could be sitting on something that's very abundant and you don't even know all right friends social gathering shared green spaces community and groups social anxiety introvert needing excessive attention and validation whether a party in the garden or a space to meet new co-workers this indicates a gathering of people both professional or a personal capacity often we socialize or gather in public gardens and you never know you may meet some very unique people shortly the garden can also indicate um a much needed break from uh an illness or a new friendship and alliances this card suggests one of your strengths is your community involvement and signifies an improvement in social status number one how do you feel about socializing in general Number two, do you give yourself an adequate time to recover from illnesses or stress? Number three, how do you define community? So it looks like fire signs. Your blood pressure might be up. Or if you got social anxiety or you dealing with other people's issues and problems, like they said, it might be who you're around. You got to pull back because somebody may be making you sick. And I've been saying that for the longest. One of y'all hang around somebody who makes you sick, literally. So uh, on that note, I'm going to hang up because it's getting a little too long. Good night. <laughs>